guys, what is going on? So you know what? It is on days like this, it's rainy out, it's gloomy out, and you wanna do some work in the garage, you wanna cut something up, you need to do a wood project, some woodworking, but you just can't go outside because it's either A, way too cold, or B, it's just raining outside, but you don't wanna make a mess inside your garage. Well, guess what? Today I have your answer. It is super easy, it's a super easy build. You can see it right there. I'm gonna show you how I built a dust collection system with the shop vac. You can see right there and a 32 gallon garbage can. And this whole setup cost me roughly 40 bucks. And you could probably do it for about 10 to $15, maybe even $20 cheaper than even what I built. You can use it for your planer, chop saw, router table, all sorts of applications, anything that you're using to cut wood, even a table saw. So let's go over here. I'm gonna show you how this thing is made. We're gonna show you um, the, the stuff that I bought, how much it cost me, and then we're gonna hook it up. Show you, I'll show you the inside, all that good stuff, and then we're gonna hook it up and I'm gonna show you it in action with the planer going. I love it. Stay tuned, let me show you this thing. First of all, it all really started with this. Basically, a little simple drawing on a piece of wood and uh, yeah, kind of the stuff, so yeah. But um, you can kind of build yours in any which way you want. You can use uh, hose, you can use how I did PVC. I used black PVC, which was a little bit more expensive than white PVC, so that's gonna cut down your cost maybe $5 or more. It could be $10 cheaper to use white PVC, but I kinda wanted to match everything up, so I opted for black PVC and black fittings. Now. I'm gonna bring you over there and we're gonna check this thing out. Okay, so this setup is a super easy build. This is the tool that we're gonna be using. And then behind me, you can see it right here, that is the shop vac, which is gonna create the vacuum for the dust collection. Basically what you wanna do is whatever unit you're using, that's gonna go in and mount to the side of your container the vacuum system is gonna hook up to the top. So basically what's gonna happen is the vacuum is gonna suck the air up. Everything is gonna go in it and go down, almost like a tornado, so to speak. So basically it's gonna create a vortex and all of everything is gonna be at the bottom and kind of fill its way to the top. That way, if you, if you were to put this down here and your dust collection up here, everything that gets sucked in, it's gonna basically be lower. So it's gonna go in, into the shop vac, and this is pointless. So make sure whenever you build these things that you put your vacuum to the top of your container. This is a 32 gallon garbage can that I purchased from Lowe's that was $14. I purchased all two inch PVC and two inch couplings. This piece right here is just a coupling. You can see it at the bottom, nothing fancy. I used a two inch hole saw. Actually, I used a little bit less. I drew it out, cut it out, and then I used a sanding tool to kind of enlarge it. That way, this was nice and snug. There's basically a little short piece of PVC right here that goes in between the coupling and the elbow is kind of what locks it into place. Then what I did was I added a little two inch piece of PVC. You can make this shorter or longer with a two inch by two inch rubber coupler. This is in the plumbing department, also with the PVC. And this is what connects your hose to your shop vac. Super simple. Basically, here's a drill bit. So when I want to remove it, just loosen it up and it comes apart just like that. Nothing crazy. Put it on there, tighten it up real quick, boom, it's on. Okay, so basically, now that you saw how the lid is put together, let's pull this thing off. This is where all the sawdust will come into the trash can. Same thing, drill the two inch hole with a little short piece of PVC. And the good thing about it is none of this is connected permanently so that it can move freely. As I move the planer up and down, this can kind of pivot a little bit as I go. So the other thing is there right here, as you can see, there is an elbow that is a 90 degree that is also not attached. Basically I can put this away and kind of store it in a good safe place and put it together as I need it. That way it's not out permanently. So basically what happens is the sawdust comes in, 
Okay, let's hook this back up. Sawdust comes in, shoots out this way, and starts the motion around the bottom and collects at the bottom. I've already used this and it works out awesome, but just for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna show you that this is a clean trash can. Come over here. Clean trash can here, and the shop vac is completely empty. I made sure that that was completely empty. So why don't I go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera, turn this all on, and show you how this thing works out. So stay tuned, here we go. Before I do this, I'm gonna tell you that you must use ear protection. Make sure that you use your safety goggles. Check these on there. There we go, how awesome are those? All right, so I got those on. And what we're gonna do is we are going to plane a complete two by four down. This thing right here, we're gonna get it down to paper thin, uh, maybe about a quarter of an inch. So, and then I'll show you the whole thing and we'll show you what, how much it fills up. So, all right, let's do this. everybody so that is it look check this out this was a two by four and now if you can see it is about a quarter of an inch thick uh, did a great job planing this down a little bit of sniping about two inches in give or take but the key to this video is that right there so let's go over here check this thing out I'm gonna show you the inside and how much this thing caught I'll show you what kickback and to be honest with you you're not gonna be mad it's not a big deal to clean up the mess that it actually created by planing this down. It's, it's a heck of a lot better than working outside in the cold and trying to keep your, you know, work in the garage where it's nice and warm. So come on over here, let's check this thing out. It is awesome, you're gonna love it. You're gonna wanna make one of these things yourself for about 40 bucks. So this is the sawdust. You could see how everything went down to the bottom and kind of created this force around. But this is all the sawdust from that one two by four. This is everything. Can you imagine if you were doing this in your garage with without this thing, you would have an absolute mess on your hands. This this is an, a necessity for $40. If you have a shop vac, you are ready to go. You don't even need a big shop vac. I think a, even a little shop vac will create enough vacuum. This garbage can, actually, if you see right here, has duct tape. This had so much force when I tested it out. I covered the you know the end of it just to see if it was sucking. My hand got stuck to it and it sucked in the garbage can and cracked it all the way down. So I used duct tape to because I didn't want to go get another garbage can. But this is it. Now what we're gonna do is let's go over to the shop vac and see how much is actually in the shop vac. That is it, right there. That's it, this is all that's in the shop vac, just a little bit. And there was already some of this in here. So, I mean, less than a handful is in the actual, was in the shop vac, that was it. All right, everybody, so you can see that what is in that trash can would probably fill up this shop vac completely to the, to the top. That's how much just one little two by four would have, you know, planed off or if your sawdust. Your sawdust, if you're just cutting, won't be as much, but if you're using it for a planer or a router table and stuff like that, it's a necessity because your shop vac just doesn't have enough capacity. You do not have to spend two, three, four hundred dollars on a vacuum system. This is the way to go. Super affordable, super cheap. All right, everybody, I hope you liked this video. I hope this helped you out. You know, it was really fun to do. Really, I hope you liked this video. If you wanna see more of these videos, give a thumbs up to this video, hit a like button, put a comment below, Definitely make sure you subscribe, hit the bell button, click on that little bell button over here. That way you get notified of all of my newest videos. And uh, until next time, make sure you all stay awesome. We'll see you on the next video.
Bye. So come on, let's go over here and check this thing out. It's awesome. So for 40 bucks, you can build this yourself. You don't have to spend two, three, four hundred up. Oh my god. You do not have you do not have to spend 